sense of deep sadness has spread across Iran after news broke that a helicopter carrying President Ibrahim Raisi crashed in a foggy mountain ridge. People gathered in mosques all over the country and they are praying for the safety of President Raisi and along with him, Foreign Minister Hussein, who was also on board when the helicopter made a hard landing. But unfortunately, their prayers weren't answered. State media later reported that officials found a wreckage of the helicopter in the east Azerbaijan province with no sign of life. The crash happened in the mountainous Dismar forest area in the Jolfa region of east Azerbaijan province. Earlier, Raisi and Amir both had inaugurated a dam project with Azerbaijan's president on the border between the two countries. There are several reports that are saying that sudden bad weather in Dismar caused the accident. Iran's interior minister, Ahmed Wahidi, explained that it was a hard landing due to poor weather condition. So hard landing is when an aircraft lands harder or faster than the normal because of the weather, pilot's mistake or mechanical problems. Notably, Raisi's group included two other helicopters that landed safely in the northwest city of Tabriz. Soon after the news broke that the helicopter carrying the Iranian president has crashed, authorities sent a search and rescue team to the crash area. IRNA reported that 40 teams are part of this particular operation. Additionally, military personnel and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has been sent to help. Iran sent a rescue helicopter to the crash site but couldn't land due to the bad weather. After that, Turkey announced that it was sending an unmanned aerial vehicle and preparing to send a helicopter with night vision capabilities to help the rescue and search team. Now, since there are reports that there's no sign of life, who is next in charge after Rahisi's death? That's the big question. So according to Article 131 of Iran's constitution, if the president dies in the office, the first vice president takes over. In this case, 69-year-old first vice president Mohammad Mukbir will assume power after getting confirmation from the supreme leader who has the final call in this matter. Also, an election must have been held within 50 days, though Iran was originally scheduled to hold the presidential elections in 2025. The entire nation is mourning right now. Politically speaking, then this tragic incident will change the entire political scenario in Iran. For more such updates, do follow India.com's International Affairs.